What's up guys, today I'm gonna show you how I made those skill reward points pop up in the movie Hotline to FPL. So yeah, enjoy. Hi, it's Michael Eller and you're watching Zodiac TV. Subscribe. Okay, so here I have two clips. One is green screen with the people and the gun and the other is just a world. So firstly, we need to track this uh, world footage. Uh, I do this with Buju, but today I'm gonna do it with After Effects camera tracker, so for you to see, but if you wanna do it with Buju, I already have a tutorial down here, just click it. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm using FX console from Video Copilot, this is a quick way of adding effects, it's just the same as dragging and dropping the effect from the effects library, but it's way faster that way, so I'm using this. So just type in uh, camera tracker, select it and let it track. Okay, one more thing I forgot to tell you. I'm working in a 32 bit space. Okay, so it appears the footage is tracked. Like you can see all those markers. So just find a nice uh, spot between the markers and press right click and create a null and a camera. So yeah, it created a null. See, the null is in place. And now we just need to add the text. So we're gonna do this for a deagle kill. So the reward money is 300. So I'm gonna type plus 300. If you wanna use the same font I used, it's called Justice. You can find it on dafont.com. Move the anchor point in the center and select a nice color. I think I used a green one in that movie. Maybe something like this. And also I add a stroke around it. Stroke, 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 stop mocking me. So like this, maybe three, no, okay, four is okay. And now we need to place it in the center. So I just press F4 because I toggled between uh, the modes and I just press this, make it 3D. So see, it's already floating in space, but I actually, maybe it can be here. No, it's too annoying, it's moving too much. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the place of this null, so I'm just gonna copy the null's position, press P to open position, Control C, press P to open a position and Control V. So yeah, it's there, I'm just gonna move it up. You, you can't move it like this, you, you have to like grab the arrows and move it up, maybe scale it a little. And I'm gonna move it outside a little, so it's, it's right there. And I think it should be standing right there, so yeah, it's tracked perfectly. You're maybe gonna have some trouble tracking with 3D camera tracking in After Effects, that's why I use Bujo, because it's way better. But... Uh, here it looks okay, so. Now we take this layer, press P for position again, and uh, hold Alt and press on the stopwatch. So we get to the expression part and just type wiggle uh, and maybe 270 and close. So that's that means it's gonna move twice per second for 70 pixels so so we have a little shake in the on the on the text you see okay so now uh, we're just gonna take the upper green layer that I have it uh, disabled and we're gonna enable it and again I'm using the FX console so I'm just gonna press ctrl plus and type key light see but it's the same, like, I'm gonna go in the F effects library and show you. Key light, and just drag and drop. See, it's the same, but the uh, FX console is way, way faster, so yeah. Now we're gonna find the points of the kills, so I think here he gets the first kill. So we're gonna scale this we're gonna go from here 
press F9 to make it way smoother. And zero. So now we go from zero to to 300, I mean 215 in uh, 10 frames. And it grows, see? Okay, now, so he got the first kill. And now for the second kill, we just go to the text, source text, go one frame forward and change the text. So 300 plus 300 is 600. And again, for the next kill, from here to here, 900. And again, for the last kill, 1200, see? Okay, so now we have it already tracked and changing. Now we just need to add the background one, like uh, the glowy stuff. So now, okay, so now I'll duplicate this effect and disable the other effect. And I'll add uh, echo. And the number of echoes I'll make five. And I'll change this to like zero, zero, three. Oh no, zero, 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 three. Okay. So now there should be maybe to zero, zero, three. Yeah. You see, there's there's an echo here that it makes it look like, yeah, this, okay. So the echo is like copying the effect and making it look like it's wiggly and stuff. So now I'm gonna add the, our gradient ramp and make the colors pink like I used in the movie pink and maybe a reddish pink uh, change it a little May make it a radial map so now we have this see it's almost like in the movie we just need a little glow so I'll add the glow but I think that's too much so maybe change the threshold a little and a little glow, yeah, like that. And now there's, there's, see, there's a problem because the wiggle is making the background layer come up front. So now I'm gonna take the forward layer and move it on the Z axis forward. So now it's in front. And yeah, I think we got this effect, it's that easy. Like, I also made some shadows on the floor to make it look like more natural in the space. But I think that's it. Maybe just play a little bit with the settings. I haven't done this effect in a long time because I was working on other stuff. But yeah, I think it looks good. See? Maybe there's a little too much glow here. We'll change that. Wait. Put up the threshold. This. Okay, so I think that's it. Simple, right? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll release more tutorials soon and also frag movies and other videos to you for watch. Bye. Hey. Hey you. Hey you there. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.